Mission Possible Roundtable, the good news program on News Radio 610 WIOD. To contact the Miami Rescue Mission or Broward Outreach Center, please visit us on our website at caringplace.org. Join us again next Sunday afternoon for more good news on Mission Possible Roundtable. Radio 610, WIOD, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, WBGG HD3, and iHeart Radio Station. Your news starts now. Good afternoon, a little overcast now. It's at our studios in Miramar. Temperatures in the upper 80s, even some lower 90s. I'm Al Lewis, our top stories. Tomorrow marks the one-year anniversary of the Pulse nightclub attack, an event just getting underway in Fort Lauderdale. I'll tell you all about that and more coming up. First, it's going to check on the traffic. Mario Rodriguez in Miami's Magic City Casino traffic center. Al, an accident on the Dolphin Expressway eastbound at I-95 had shut down the roadway. It has just been cleared right now off to the right shoulder, but you're going to see quite a few delays as you approach I-95 on the eastbound Dolphin. Also, a disabled vehicle blocking the right lane, I-95 southbound at 103rd Street, and construction blocking two right lanes, I-95 northbound after the Dolphin Expressway. This traffic report is brought to you by Lead Safe America. Do you live in an historic home? Are you renovating? Your children could be at risk of lead poisoning. It takes just a microscopic amount of lead dust to poisoning a ch uh, to poison a child learn more at leadsafeamerica.org your next traffic update at 4:30 i'm mario rodriguez news radio 610 wiod slight chance for showers and storms we run the temperature back to around 80 for our monday straight a scattered showers and thunderstorms high mid to upper 80s heavy rain lightning gusty winds all possible with updates around the clock on south florida severe weather station on the weather channel's jeff Eno on news radio 610 wiod right now downtown miami checking in 90 degrees it is 86 in deerfield beach also in Boca at 402. Tomorrow marks the first anniversary of the Pulse nightclub attack, and there are many events planned to commemorate the day here in South Florida. The entire community is coming together in Hyzenga Park in downtown Fort Lauderdale to really reaffirm, particularly during Pride Month, and now that we have reached a milestone following the Pulse tragedy, we stand together, united as a community, against hate. Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz taking part in this afternoon's Equality Rally for Unity and Pride. It is just getting underway right now at Hyzenga Park. Park in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Animal shelters around the country are committing to getting healthy dogs and cats into forever homes today by participating in the Just One Day campaign. Broward Animal Care Adoption Center waiving all adoption fees, pets six months and older, half off at Humane Society of Broward County. Sherry Walker says they've got plenty of cats to choose from. There's probably close to 70 of them that are waiting to find homes. And as far as dogs go, everybody wants the cute little puppies, so we're hoping people will open up their heart and their home to some of the more mature animals. Ten beach babes will go home with a beach bucket full of goodies and waived adoption fees. Violence this weekend and arrests in several cities as marches against Muslims play out. They were organized by a group calling itself Act for America. America. Ruth Mercier was among them. Sharia law is, the root of it is, is evil. It's against, it's an oppression against women, against women's rights, uh, against freedom. Samia Hussein was a counter-protester. She leads the Muslim Coalition of Connecticut. We're here for everyone. And the Act for America has been going around and spreading all these lies and propaganda, getting people divided. In a time like that, we need to come together and be able to tell them that we will not let this happen. Police are still counting those arrests. That's Lisa Campbell reporting. The unlikely to be plenty bright tonight, but Broadway's best being honored at the annual Tony Awards. While there'll be musical numbers from nine new and revival musicals, you will not hear from Bette Midler after the folks fail to land the diva who's starring in a hit revival of Hello, Dolly. Kevin Spacey will host the Oscar-winning House of Cards star also has a Tony on his mantle. It is 4.05. Next news coming up at 5 o'clock. I'm Al Lewis, News Radio 610 WIOD. Sean Hannon tomorrow at 3. What happened? I don't know. Who pushed that button? Oh, I pushed that button. Don't push that button. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Funny. Push the button. Sean Hannity will push your buttons. Yeah, that's true. News Radio 610. WIOD. It's Mobile Mike, and branding is essential to a successful business. Establish your brand with Mobile Mike Media and Entertainment. Effective radio and television commercials and on site radio remotes. Connect with us on social media or call 888 We Rapid. James from Metallica here. This is Lars. It's iHeartRadio.